I think you're talking about when I get my dick stuck in a chair? <laughs> Am I allowed to say that? Yes, you can. Yes, I can? Yeah. Yes, we can. <laughs> um, so when I, got my, when I got my dick stuck in a chair, um, it, there's not much further that you can go because you're literally stuck. Um, but, but facial expressions and uh, uh, help from Dwayne Johnson really get you through Help from moments. Dwayne Johnson with your Johnson? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. That was Why bad. haven't we been making that joke I don't this whole know. time? It, it occurred to me for the first time last night that he said, you got your Johnson stuck in something. And I was like, oh, he's making fun of himself. Yeah. And that's why he's so Johnson great. You got your Johnson stuck in a Johnson. <laughs> Ew. Luckily for me, I, that's not a possibility. I'll never have to worry about my dick getting stuck in a chair because I don't have one of those. Um, but no, to, to answer your question, um, Stephanie Holden in the original series and in the movie as well is the more reserved seasons, seasoned lifeguard and she, she's Rich, Mitch's right hand. Um, so I didn't feel pressure to compete with their comedy because it's just not the character, you know. It's, uh, and yeah. like John said in, yesterday in, in one of our... Uh, one of our interviews, there's got to be someone to keep things real and grounded in comedy. Otherwise, it's just chaos. Yeah, you, um, need, you need your straight man for, for everyone else to go off and do, for every dick stuck in a chair scene, you need the one person going, not cool. Not, not cool, <laughs> you know? yeah. I think it works so well because um, we, just, we just had a chemistry, you know? We're, we're, we're really... Uh, we really got along, and 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 we noticed that from the first day that we met. That like, I think we both met. And we were just like, okay, this works. Uh, let's have fun now, and and we did. We had a really great time, and uh, she's just so hot and cool <laughs> that like it's not hard for me. You know what I mean? I think it's maybe harder for her, <laughs> but for me it was just like, oh, she's hot, she's cool. Uh, we get along, and and. Um, and, and the rest is history. The rest is film history. Film history, history. cinematic history. CJ is the slow-mo queen of the movie, so luckily I never had to worry about my performance as an actress in slow-mo, um, with the exception of the, uh, the, you know, the iconic Baywatch slow-mo run. So I was moving around pretty freely. It's pure... American gold. Seriously. It is like the closest you get to like just the American dream in a TV show and now in a movie. Totally. Right? I mean, if you're not from, you're watching this from anywhere else in the world and you see everything as this like perfect picture of what, you know, the California coast is. Yeah. It's beautiful people and, you know, pristine weather and beaches. And it's like, what's not to love? Um, and, and lots of Pam Anderson and Hasselhoff. Yeah, and now a lot of and Elton Shadera and Kelly and Rohrbach. And Kelly Rohrbach. And, and Alexandra D'Addario, who's And goddess, Zac Efron. And Dwayne and Johnson. Johnson. And, and John, John Bass. Bass. <laughs> Perfect. Oh. For the weirdos in the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> what doesn't make it the perfect summer yeah, movie? We, no, it, it's, it's, like, it's the beach. And it's sex and it's taints and <laughs> no i mean we're, we're kicking off the summer movie season with like the most action-packed funniest ridiculous in many ways dick and chair movie there is you know so it's like grab your popcorn go to the movies don't think you're gonna you know you're not you're not gonna you're cry not in this anything. movie you're not learning there are no lessons in the film you just go and zone out and and belly laugh yeah um, you just have fun you, you get to have fun every day is it's like you know we're we're all just it's it's truly what acting is which is playing yeah. you know and it's literally just a huge sandbox yeah, totally. so it's the closest you get to that joy of yeah. being a kid again well and, and you think you're lucky stars that you're a part of something like Baywatch and you come to work every day with any appreciative attitude and yeah. just and do the work and have fun while you're doing it it's like and not just, to say it isn't work I mean we're yeah, we're out sure. there we're trying to do our best jobs but it's definitely fun work. Yeah, it's the best it's the best work you're ever going to put in to yeah. anything probably ever. We did do a lot of our our own stunts. I didn't think I'd ever say that in my life. I do my own stunts. But um there was, you know, we had wonderful people on set to tell us the safest way to do things, but there's still this pressure to keep your co-stars alive. <laughs> we had scenes on the ATV where, you know, we're going down the beach at full speed. I'm chasing Dwayne, Kelly's on the back, and I realized that if, you know, any wrong move, we're flipping over, 
and production stops. And your legs broken. Our legs are broken. <laughs> you know, there's sand flying up in my eyes. Um, you're, you're squinting through it and trying to, you know, stay in character. But they were really great about making sure we felt as comfortable as possible and giving us the skills and tools to do what we had to yeah. do on set. Hey, it's Lisa here with a pretty cool movie extras fact. Now, the parting of the Red Sea and the Ten Commandments from 1956 is often considered the most expensive special effects in history. It involved matte paintings, reproduction, pyrotechnics, miniatures, water tanks, a 32-fit high dam and 30,000 gallons of water. The parting was shot by pouring water into the tank and then playing the shot in reverse. Now keep up to date with all the latest releases by subscribing to our channel and checking the notification bell and I'll see you next time.